Hello, everyone, and welcome to another in a series of Google Plus Hangouts uh, in support of Sage Summit, our yearly partner and customer conference this year in Washington, D.C., the week of July 21st through the 26th. With me today, I have Greg Hammermaster, president of Sage Payment Solutions, and Don Wurry, vice president of product management, also mm -hmm. under Sage Payment Solutions. Don and Greg, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. Excellent. So, so let's um, let's start off with a really uh, sort of a softball question, right? Um, the the payments industry is is typically always been a mess. Uh, describe the 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 environment and what it looks like for our customers in terms of that that quote unquote mess. You know, uh, I'd like to say you know the, the payments industry is is really a fragmented marketplace. And that makes it so tough on the typical merchant trying to navigate through the waters. I mean, I mean, you think about it. Costco is is, is selling merchant accounts these days, you know. And and the problem with that is, you know, Costco isn't a merchant provider first and foremost. So they're they're using another provider. Um, a lot of these merchant providers aren't full service. Yeah. You, you you get you get maybe the merchant account, maybe a POS. You don't get all the parts and pieces that. You really need to compete in today's market, and when you kind of look at all that, you know, I mean, the, you, you don't know necessarily who you're getting your business from. There's a lot of competing, confusing um, uh, providers out there, and all the parts and pieces don't come together. A lot of times, you don't even know who you're talking to. You, yeah. you don't know something breaks. You don't know who to call. Uh, it's, it's it's maddening. I, I mean, it, yeah. it's tough. Well, it, it's the epitome of payments becoming a commodity service, and when you become a commodity service. Anybody and everybody can put the banner up and then you know start selling those type of services. But when you think about it from a business's perspective, they could you know they're gonna have multiple vendors, four or five vendors that they might be working with just to do payments. It could be their bank, it could be you know a mobile service provider, it could be the one doing uh, mobile service being mobile payment service provider, it could be the one, of course, doing merchant acquiring, the one that's doing uh, some of their cash balances or bill payment, which is a payment service. So you know, if the business is in a really tough situation right now just to try to figure out of all these four or five vendors are doing business with that are payments. Um, who do they call, and who do they call for customer support, and and all the different statements and and uh, reports that come in? How's that align, etc. So yeah, it's 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 highly confusing, and our job here is to try to consolidate, and make things a lot simpler. Hmm. And then you 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 add on PCI compliance on top of that, and I would imagine that it gets even more complex. Yeah, you know, and I'll put a big thing there because we're going to talk about this. You know, the the PCI is a very uh, it stands for payment card industry, which are the kind of the the rules and regulations that the payments vendors now need to abide by. And what's really impacted the end user here more than anything else is the complexity of the password that PCI puts on us payment vendors. So as a payment vendor, you know, when you think about those crazy funky passwords you have to do, it has a cap, it has a special mm -hmm. character, it has you know, eight you know, characters minimum or 13, whatever it might be, that's because PCI is obligating the vendor, the payment vendor, to do that. And so um, you, 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 you can blame us, but at the same time, we're being forced to go in, in this direction. So clearly, less passwords is better. And that's really what we're trying to do for our customers is, is you have the four and five vendors that you're having to log into today just to do payments. If you can make that down to lesser, that's better than more when it comes to trying to simplify your payments environment. And that's a good lead into my next question. So, so we, we've established that the payments industry is is fragmented and it's difficult to navigate in many instances. Um, what kinds of, uh, of solutions does Sage have in terms of making that environment simpler and easier to understand for your small business merchants? Yeah, that that, that is actually the one of the, the kind of the core thrust of what we're doing as a payment in this, as a payment provider in this industry. You know, more simplicity, more transparency. Um, you know, our our flagship product is, is a product we call Sage Exchange, which really pulls together a lot of these aspects. Um, what, one of the main things it does is consolidation. I mean, we talked yeah. about how fragmented the industry is. With a product like Sage Exchange being a, sort of the center of your payments world, it, it gives us the opportunity to, to offer the merchant a single view into the, all their different payment accounts. So ju just the fact that it's that's sort of a, a collection point yeah. is, is, a, is, a, is a big value to, to most merchants. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think a, another really important thing is, is I, I mentioned earlier about you know, having to cobble together parts and pieces of, of a solution from different sources. You know, we, we are 
a full service, service payment providers. And, and we typically call that all forms and all methods. So, I mean, you need to address check, credit card, check 21, gift and loyalty. You know, not everyone can pull all that together. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, you need to be where your customers are. That, that, that's the other part of it. If, if your customers are mobile or you have a mobile business, you need a mobile solution. If the web is more um, in line with your business, you need a web solution. So being a full service provider, we can give that full suite of products and you come to, to one, one spot to get all that. <laughs> that thing is just defined complexity. <laughs> well, but that's, that's a big part of it, right? We do it in a way that is, um, it, it is it, it, kind of our secret sauce, yeah, yeah. is that we do stuff geared towards the SMB marketplace. We, we do it, we understand that environment. We do it in a way that, that you don't need to hire consultants and do all that kind of stuff. Which actually is another big one. I mean, obviously, you know, you know, we, we have a lot to do with accounting yeah. and ERPs and the ability to integrate all this stuff together. It's back to that fragmented thing. We, we have a, a, an easy, we call it an IT-free way of integrating all these, all these parts and pieces together. And, and I think really kind of the, the last kind of big major point in the way at least we address the marketplace is self-service. It, it's it's not you know a monolithic. You buy one package and you get ninety seven things you don't need. Yeah. And, and and it's not you get one thing and you're stuck with it. You you can as you need as your business grows, we can grow and provide information for you. I mean I, I think those are sort of the the kind of high points of, of what we offer. Yeah. So kind of pick and choose as a business, pick and choose the features and solutions that you need and want at your own pace. And and I'll give you a really good com comparison. You know, how how do you pay your bills today? And, and, you know, think about it from a standpoint that if you were forced to go to every business's website to establish a connection to your ACH or check account and then pay that bill by going to every website, your utility websites, your credit card websites, you know, the things you have to pay every day. If you had to log in to four or five different sites or ten sites to pay your bills at the end of the month, you know, that's not fun, that's challenging, that's complex complexity. Most people have an online bill payment service. They consolidate the way that they pay their bills by having all their vendors recorded so they can then just do bill payment, bill payment, bill payment. Sage Exchange uh, and SageExchange.com are kind of doing that. We're enabling businesses to have their point of sale environment, their mobile payments environment, their web uh, type, we call it virtual terminal, uh, check as, as Don said, check and check 21 and ACH, all that now consolidated into one easy administrative portal, kind of like bill payment. It's a way for you to consolidate one one stop shop to do all that you need to do in a consolidated way and not try to guess where you need to go next. So yeah, that, that's kind of our, um, our, our, our secret sauce, as, as Don <laughs> just says, yeah. Yeah, in the comparison to, to how, for example, I pay my bills as, a, as just a consumer of utility services, et cetera, is, a, is one that, that probably resonates with most. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so, so moving on to the next question then. If I want to learn more, is there, is there a, a, say, a, a large customer partner conference that I could go to um, to gather more information about this? Hmm. Let me think about that. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously, at, at, uh, at Sage Summit, we're going to be very excited to talk about um, all of these topics. I mean, I, uh, as I'd like to talk about, you know, we're looking forward to talking about what cash management means in an in a SMB, in a small, medium business. It, it means something different than in a, in a, in a really large company, but it's, it can be every bit as important and every bit as impactful on your bottom line. So, you know, we're looking forward to talking about what that means in a real world way to small and medium sized businesses. And, and also we've talked a lot about complexity. I, I, very excited to kind of show folks this, we could keep talking about the secret sauce. Like to show folks this secret sauce and how Sage Exchange makes it manageable. It makes sometimes you know some sophisticated capabilities consumable to the small and medium business. So so we'll be showcasing all that information at Sage Summit. Yeah, it's just it's uh, you know it's simple as I think the the theme of our of our speech here. And we're we're trying to do simplify it for the business. And so you know as we talk about cash management, which can be a very complex concept. You know you got. Cash management as a practice, which is more about reporting and about liquidity management and, and, and short-term lending and these things, we're not going to go there. We're going to go into cash management services, which are more about payments. And so you know, it's incoming payments, it's outgoing payments. And what we're really trying to do here for our customers is give them a single, simple login 
so that they can then manage their incoming payments and simplify their outgoing payments. At Sage Summit, there'll be a nice little demo to show all of this, and you know, the, the best part about it is that it seamlessly integrates with your Sage accounting product. Uh, so certainly, come to Sage Summit and, uh, and take a look. It's, it's, it's a very compelling value proposition. Right. Oh, well, of course. Th thank you. So, uh, so as a reminder, Sage Summit this year is in Washington, D.C. It is uh, the week of July 21st through the 26th. You can register at sagesummit.com. Don and Greg, thank you very much for your time today. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.